Hey guys and gals, what's going on everybody? It's Big E checking in with you. This is a little one-on-one. -on -one. This is going to be part rant and part channel update, potentially channel direction. I think I probably have timestamps in the video if you want to skip around, if you don't want to hear the rant. But the rant is going to kind of start now. It's about bots in this game and it's out of fucking control, man. I'm so frustrated today. Uh, so Call to Arms this weekend uh, was the Basin. And, you know, anybody watching the Finn Let's Plays, Finn kind of, our Dwarf Hunter, kind of turned into a PvP freak for a bit. I've, I was having a lot of fun in the beginning grinding PvP gear because I'm a pretty, I'm new to PvP. I've never really done it, but we've really been getting into it. I've been having a hell of a lot of fun. Battlegrounds are just swamped with bots. It's, it's ridiculous. So off camera, you know, when I'm recording the episodes, we do one or two, sometimes three battlegrounds, right? But off camera, I'm running them consecutively in my free time because I'm trying to grind that honor. It takes, it takes a while to get it, trying to save up that 19,000 for the crossbow or whatever the hell piece I want. And at the time of this, Finn is basically, he's pretty much fully geared except for, I think, one gear piece and then the weapon. But I think I'm done. I think I'm done, especially call to arms. I, we may try. I may try my luck at a non call to arms and see what see what it's like. But I probably did 15 and more than that. I probably 20, 25 battlegrounds in a row, and it's pretty time consuming. Those can be pretty long, lengthy battlegrounds. And I am not exaggerating. Every single battleground, there's at least three to five bots on each team. And in some cases, like I saw another YouTuber, he, the whole other team for him was bots. There were 10 bots on the other team. But in my experience, it's, like I said, between three to five, and that's a bare minimum. A couple of points, a couple of times in those battlegrounds, it was me and two other players. Twice in a row, that actually happened. It was three humans, and the whole rest of the team was bots, man. And that's fucking frustrating, dude. You know, it's frustrating, especially in a call to arms where you're trying to win to get that extra armor and your team is full of bots and you can't communicate with bots. They're, they are on a programmed script. They're going to, they get stuck in the fucking water. They run into a tree. They're just sit there. Sometimes after a battle, they're just sitting in one place, like all four of them together. So frustrated with it. And I think I'm I think I'm done. And that's kind of sad because I was enjoying it. But I want to play against players. I don't want to play against a computer program. So I don't know what's going to happen with Finn. Um, I mean, I have some ideas what we're going to do. But as of right now, Holy and Sorrow, I'm probably put on hold for PvP. What we'll probably do with Holy and Sorrow and Finn, these are our PvP Let's Plays on the channel. We're probably going to switch over and try to run dungeons. Hopefully don't see any bots in the dungeons and then go kind of back to questing. Now, as far as Finn, probably do the same thing. We'll start doing all of the uh, the northern dungeons. And I don't know what the chances of us are getting into a raid. May I probably have to join a guild to do something like that. We'll see. But um, I'm not having any fun at all anymore in the battlegrounds with Finn and just really burned out with it. Not only that, when you have bots on your team and you're losing, the actual humans start getting really upset and salty. Some people just leave. More times than not, you've got like really salty players typing, everybody sucks, you guys suck, blah, 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 right? And I get sick of seeing that. <laughs> and it just upsets me even more. I don't even think a lot of people realize they're yelling at uh, computers, computer programs, but... I so saw this had me so upset like this past weekend. I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of reading, trying to find legit stuff. And I came across some pretty shocking <laughs> um, estimates. Um, I saw, so whether you know it or not, World of Warcraft has roughly 8 million players a month playing between the classic versions and retail. And I, that's been verified across multiple sites that, that I saw. It's a lot of people. That's a hell of a lot more than I actually thought. 
were playing. So you can do quick math and figure out how much money they are still making off this game. It is making a shit ton of money. It's a cash cow and has been a cash cow for a long time. Even when they lose, you know, when they stop putting out their numbers because they were down a million subscribers, like it, uh, it they're still making a ton of money, man. But anyway, I read that uh, some people have estimated that 20% of the monthly revenue come from botted accounts. Um, 20%. So I don't know what the math is on that, but I heard some people talking between four and 600,000 accounts, and it, some people think way more than that. Even if you take the bare minimum of 400,000 accounts, 400,000 times $15 a month is $6 million. Do you think Blizzard gives a fuck about whether you are a human being or you are a computer program, as long as that money's coming in? Now, when I say Blizzard, we all know it's not really Blizzard anymore, right? It's Blizzard Activision. It's going to be Microsoft uh, coming up in 2023. A spring is when that I think that acquisition is fully finalized. But the people who run this company and make the financial decision, it's the top tier of the company and the purely financial relationship they have with shareholders. That's who make the decisions. I know there are passionate people who care about the game, the core designers of this game who design the quests, some of these systems, the artwork, the quest writing. It's just unbelievably talented uh, and passionate people. I have no doubt, but they have no say in the direction of the game or what can happen. Blizzard could eliminate bots right now like that. It's easy. It's easy to do. You can base it on your the character's XYZ movements, uh, API, all of this technical stuff that it's not technical for Blizzard. They could absolutely do it. And every once in a while, they'll have ban waves. Will they ban? Do you think they're really getting rid of every single bot in the game? Hell no, they're not. What they're doing is saying, okay, let's make it seem like we give a shit. Ban a million of them or ban whatever, not a million. Ban so many accounts, we'll take a slight hit in the revenue. Those bots will be back. They'll be new bots. So we'll get right back up to whatever we're making. Now, I hate to think like that and I hate to be so cynical and negative, but I don't know what else to think, honestly. Be I, there was not one single battleground I ran. And after a while, you start looking for them. You recognize patterns. They're just everywhere, man. Once you know what to look for, they're just everywhere. They're all throughout retail as well. We're doing a cool tier and shaman in the last episode. It's not out yet at the time of this video. Uh, there were two bots that I spotted. And I was just in a very small area <laughs> uh, up near Freehold. Two bots. Clearly, clearly bots. I don't know how many people I've reported. I feel like I've reported 100 people. I have not got one single response from any GM or ticket guy or whatever saying, hey, thanks for your report. This led to the banning of whatever. Not seen anything. And I'm just tired of it. Um, it's frustrating, man. Now, it's one thing to go into a battleground. I saw this a couple times and get up, uh, go up against like a pre-made. I'm assuming that's what it is. I have no problems getting my ass handed to me by guild mates all geared up and shit like that. That's Those are people playing the game and are compassionate about it. I have no problem getting my ass handed to me by a player. <laughs> but when my fucking team is full of bots and there's no coordination, they're just running these specific patterns, no strategy, there's no looking at the map, there's no defending nothing. I, it's just, it makes me sick. <laughs> so as of right now, like I said, I'm going to be put in sorrow and because I don't want to participate in it. And um, honestly, if I didn't have this YouTube channel, I probably would cancel my subscription to Warcraft. And this is coming from somebody who's had a subscription for essentially 19 years. I've been playing this game since 2004. And I was thinking about this realistically, and I was trying to put a number on it. In those 19 years, I'd be willing to say at the most... I didn't have a subscription for maybe two and a half, three years, right? But fuck, just, I'll say four years. That's still 15 years that I've been paying a monthly subscription to play this game. I love the game. I mean, I wouldn't say I have an emotional attachment to it. Maybe I do. I don't know. This game for me has been an escape from my mind and my head. I played it. I've made friends in this game. I've had a lot of fun. 
So it isn't. It does mean something to me, and it, it is important to me. So for me to say that I would be canceling my subscription and not play this shit again until they, I don't know, have some goddamn integrity and take a little bit of a fucking loss and get rid of fucking bots, then I would maybe come back. But for me to say that I would cancel, it's kind of a big deal. But... <laughs> The channel is kind of starting to grow, and I like the idea of this this little community we've got going. I love interacting with my commenters and getting to know subscribers. Uh, that's a big part of this, and World of Warcraft has been is making the channel kind of grow. Now, we're super small. We're small beans, man. Um, but it, it's, it's the people that that make it fun for me. So what we're going to do, I'm, I guess what I'm going to be doing here is kind of... Um, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. We're gonna we're gonna continue the hardcore challenge, our naked mage challenge for sure. We'll always have a hardcore challenge going on the channel. Um, gonna continue Finn, Sorrow, and Holy probably turn into mostly uh, dungeons. We'll see what happens there. Finn, I'm gonna be taken out of battlegrounds for a while. I don't know. We may queue up for something that's not called arms, and maybe have a look and see what's going on with these bots. Uh, but then, of course, there's still City Skylines and Minecraft on the weekends. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, another, uh, this is a big deal for me, kind of a big deal. I'm kind of giddy and excited about it. And this is coming off being so frustrated. So over this weekend, I had all that frustration. And I also had this really cool thing happen to me. I thought it was cool. I got contacted by a, well, not just a voice actor, uh, a musician. So Allison Packard is her name. I'm going to put her information up here. Um, she has been voice acting, I think, since 1999. She makes music. She's been in done stuff for movies, for commercials, a ton of video games. So she did the female Blood Elf, the character that you play as a Blood Elf uh, in TBC, original TBC. And she also did a character in Dragonflight called the Talon Mender, which is just in, as far as I know, it's just in the Drakthir starting zone. And she reached out to me this weekend and I thought it was like spam at first. I thought it was phony, but there was all the links were checked out. And anyway, we had a couple of exchanges and I ended up kind of working with her, doing something for her, getting some, uh, some stuff in game for, from her voice acting. I'm not sure why she doesn't have access to it. There must be some kind of agreement between voice actors and Blizzard as far as what they can do or something. But anyway, I, I went in. I was like, I absolutely, I'll do it. So I went in and I got all of the all of the voice acting I could from the character by interacting with the clicker. And the same thing with the, the, the Blood Elf. If you go to your character over where the chat is on this side over here, the voice emote, there is a ton... <laughs> Of voice emotes, and I got, I think I got all of them for her. But anyway, I, that was amazing. I was, I'm still giddy about it. And she has an album, at least one that I know of, and there's a song on it called, um, what is it called? I actually made a video of it. So I have another channel, a music channel. It's kind of a corny channel, but one of my videos on that channel from 13 years ago just hit a million subscribers a couple days ago or last week. That was a big deal for me. But what I do is when I hear music that I like, I'll just make a corny video. Sometimes I'm proud of some of the videos. Some of them I'm not so proud of, you know. But um, I made a video uh, of that song. And um, I'm kind of waiting for her to respond to see if it's okay to release on the channel. I have a feeling it is because she told me that I could use my music for this channel. Really awesome person, she seems like. An amazing voice actor. Absolutely. But... Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that because I don't have anybody else to talk to. <laughs> and it was exciting for me. So I'm not even going to apologize for the rant. Um, I'm somebody who's passionate about this game. And it, it really kills me that Blizzard just allows this to happen because they want to make more money when they already make a fucking shit ton. And botting never, I never, it never occurred to me, but it's been going on for a long time, man. A long time. Before MMORPGs were even a thing, there was another acronym that was used. This has been going on for years and years and years. But it never really affected me because I've always played the game as a solo person. I just enjoy the leveling process. I'm not about endgame 
at, you know, that much, even though I raid sometimes or whatever. But I've never played the auction house, so I've never been somebody focused on farming nodes and herbs and seeing bots doing that. I've never really been into PvP, so I've never seen that. It's just never, I've never had that experience until we started PvPing on this channel. And now I see it, and it's disgusting. And it, uh, it makes me angry, and it makes me sad that this, is, uh, this isn't this a game that I love. And I wasn't, I mean, I was aware of it, but I didn't realize how how bad it was and how frustrating it can be. I've been paying Blizzard a lot of money for a lot of years, if you add it up, right? I don't play, I mean, I don't pay a monthly subscription if I want a PvP to PvP against a fucking bot or my team to be filled with them. So anyway, that's my piece, man. That's my say. <laughs> I'm interested uh, to know what you guys think. Do we have any PvPers out there? What's been your experience with bots do you know what to look for? Um, what are your thoughts on it? Are you a botter? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me. Just a quick little rant here. And hopefully you guys and gals will stick around with me. I know the PvP is popular. It's the most popular thing on the channel. Um, just hang in there. You know, Maybe we can, uh, we'll figure something out to do. And maybe, maybe something happened. Maybe it'll get a little bit better. Maybe the way around this is to not do the call to arms maybe there will be less bots. Like I, I could almost live with one or two bots, but I want the team to be mostly humans on both sides. So anyway, that's it for me. You guys and gals, take care. I will see you in a future episode of something. Peace.